the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 242 2 Chronicles 34-36 Josiah's Passover and the fall of South Judah In spite of the good politics of Josiah, who implemented reform on the basis of the Book of Laws found in the temple, South Judah was to be destroyed. First point, Chronicles records Josiah's religious reformation in historical order. Ammon was murdered by his own servants, and his son, who was only eight years old at the time, became the 16th king of South Judah. Regarding the 20 kings of South Judah, their evaluations were the following. The kings to follow in the way of David, even for a short while, were Asa, Jehoshaphat, Joashi, Amaziah, Uzziah, Jotham, Hezekiah, and Josiah. The kings who went in the way of David for the full term were Jehoshaphat, Hezekiah, and Josiah. Out of all the kings, Josiah did best to follow in the way of David. Josiah did not waver from left to right. During the 500 years of monarchy, Saul, David, and Solomon ruled a unified nation. And then afterward, North Israel was maintained for 200 years with 19 kings. And South Judah was maintained for 350 years with 20 kings. 39 kings reigned after Solomon, and the evaluation of them became categorized as either the way of David or the way of Jeroboam. And Josiah out of these kings followed in the way of David. Josiah carried out a religious reformation and cleansed out the idols. Chronicles records Josiah's religious reformation in historical order. The first was carried out eight years into his reign when he was 16 years old, which was when he came to believe in God. Josiah's religious reformation involved cleaning out the remaining temples erected during the reign of Hezekiah. The second was to purify South Judah from Baal and Asherah idols. The third was to crush the idols and then sprinkle them on the graves of those who served the idols. The fourth was to burn the bones of the priests who served the idols. As such, Josiah did his best to cleanse South Judah from the idols and made sure that idols would not be erected again. The next religious reformation took place 18 years into his rule when he was 26 years old. This involved further cleansing of the idols and restoring the Jerusalem temple. During the process of restoring the Jerusalem temple, the book of Moses was found. Kings before Josiah had restored the temple, but it was Josiah who found the books. When he found and read the laws of Moses, he tore his robes and cried. He and the priest Hilkiah went to find the prophet Hulda to ask of God's message. The prophet Hulda explained God's judgment. The second message was that Josiah would die peacefully as he helped South Judah repent. Josiah would not see the fall of South Judah in his lifetime. After listening to Huldah's message, Josiah pushed the force with the religious reformation even further. Josiah made the people of South Judah read the book of the laws with him. They then renewed their covenant with God. They read together Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, and renewed themselves as holy citizens in a kingdom of prestige. Second point. Josiah kept the Passover as it recorded in the book of Moses. Josiah kept the Passover as part of the religious reformation. As David and Solomon had done, 
Josiah tried to keep Passover as recorded in the book of Moses. He also prepared an offering for Passover. For the people who did not have an offering for Passover, Josiah prepared for them. Josiah offered 30,000 of his own sheep and goats and 3,000 bulls. Comparing this to Hezekiah's offering of 7,000 sheep and 1,000 bulls, this was indeed substantial. When Josiah made such a big offering, the people of South Judah also made their offerings. This was indeed a large-scale offering of Passover. During Solomon's time, Solomon had offered a lot more. But this was before the country was divided into two. And Josiah's Passover was only with the people of South Judah. And now, finally, they were able to keep Passover. This was the first proper keeping of Passover since the days of Samuel. The Bible records all the details of this Passover. When we think of Josiah, we can think of Passover. This record became an inspiration and a hope for the people of South Judah when they came back from Babylon after 70 years as captives. Third point. During the reign of Josiah, the prophets Jephaniah and Jeremiah delivered the message of God. Josiah died during battle. This incident was not recorded in the Book of Kings, but Chronicles records that the Egyptian king told him of God's command. However, Josiah did not listen and went to battle and was killed. Josiah died and all of South Judah lamented. During the years of Josiah, the prophets Jephaniah and Jeremiah ministered. Jephaniah was a man from the household of Josiah and he did his best to keep to the laws of God and to be a support to Josiah who kept God's laws. As for Jeremiah, he was called during the 13th year of Josiah's reign by God. Jeremiah was pleased with Josiah's righteousness and justice and lamented over his death. Fourth point, the 17th king of South Judah, Jehoahaz, was taken as a captive to Egypt and the 19th king Jehoiachin was taken as a captive to Babylon. When Josiah died during battle, his son Jehoahaz became the next king of South Judah. However, his reign only lasted for three months, as he was taken as a captive to Egypt. Egypt prized Jehoiakim as the next king, and so he became the 18th king of South Judah. Jehoiakim ruled for 11 years, and during this time, Daniel and his three friends were taken to Babylon as the first group of captives. When Jehoiakim died, his son Jehoiachin became king. As for Jehoiachin, he was king for only a hundred days, as Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon took him as captive and placed his uncle Zedekiah in his place instead. Jehoiachin, who was taken with the second group of captives, was thrown in the Babylonian prison for 37 years and then was set free and treated as a king. However, he died in Babylon and was unable to return. Fifth point, the last king of South Judah, Zedekiah, was dragged by iron chains as a captive to Babylon. Jehoiachin was taken to Babylon as a captive and Zedekiah was made the next king by the Babylonian Empire. Zedekiah was the last king of South Judah. Zedekiah and the officials of South Judah worshipped idols. Thus, South Judah fell. God sent many prophets to South Judah, including Jeremiah, but they refused to listen until the end and therefore could not escape their punishment. Consequently, South Judah fell in the hands of Babylon, and Jerusalem became raided and the people were taken as captives. During the 70 years, the Jerusalem grounds had its Sabbath. Chronicles records that the 70 years was a Sabbath for the grounds of Jerusalem. This was what God said to Moses. Then the land will enjoy its Sabbath years, all the time that it lies desolate and you are in the country of your enemies. Then the land will last and enjoy its Sabbath. 
All the time that it lies desolate, the land will have the last. It did not have during the Sabbath, you lived in it. As said through Jeremiah, the people were taken to Babylon, and after 70 years, Cyrus II of Persia ruled over Jerusalem. Chronicles recorded all this to stress to the captives of what they were to do from now on. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.